Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check kit from Miniard. It is a 135 scale model obviously and it copies US bulldozer. So as you can see this is a kit number 38022 and now we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all box size is standard for 35 scale kits from Miniard. Here you can see comparison with my hand. We have quite Quite nice box art on the front and here we have short list of the features so P parts included I can see that box contains model of tractor and three jerry cans so this guy is not included but jerry cans are inside and let's flip it over here we have some safety information and also barcode and address of the manufacturer if you would like to visit them and here you can see the same marking options which actually this one is the same as on the box art and this one is an extra but I hope we have more um, we will see so this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside so all frames as usual they are packed into the same plastic bag here you can see we have assembly manual on the bottom and I guess some bonuses will be there as well but we will take a look a bit later so first of all we will start with this plastic bag which is as usual as you can see it is sealed so that's why I'm going to use uh, scissors in order to cut through and check what is hidden here. In the meantime let me remind you that you can support us in these difficult times. Uh, we have special donate button on our website and all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment, maybe for new kits. As you saw we bought several models in order to be reviewed so if you would like to help us even with one or five dollars still it counts and believe me it is really handy for us. Okay, so here are all the frames. I can see already one part is broken off here, but I hope it is not serious. We'll see. But just give me a second. Maybe it is broken off from some internal structure, who knows. Okay, so here we have first small envelope with mini art logo. We open it and here we have small P thread, which should come handy for fine detailing. Let's zoom in. Now you should be able to see it. Okay, it should be like this. So some parts will have to be bent obviously, but I hope it won't be a difficult task for you. And overall this is a typical Minuart product, so there is nothing to complain about, let's say. Okay, next we have another sealed plastic bag, so just give me a second. Here it is, we have clear parts and decals here. Just give me a second to clean a bit after this box. And also you can see the thread which will be used for the towing cable. Okay, so what do we have here? A lot of dust. Okay, so first is this clear plastic sprue. As you can see, we have here lenses for the headlamps and molding quality looks fine. So um, here I don't have anything to comment extra. Here we have small decal sheet. Printing quality looks nice. It comes from Decograph. We have even decals for the dials. So I think it should be more than enough. And also this a nylon thread which will be used for the towing cable and that's really cool because it is included out of the box. As you remember in some tanks Miniard does not include any metal wire so you have to do everything with your own hands. Okay next we start with first grey plastic sprue so here it is mix of various parts and as you can see um, a lot of small elements for example this one this is typical for mini art so there is no surprise in this molding quality looks fine as far as I can see but be careful with such thin parts because it will be easy to break them and then really difficult to fix them so it's uh, something to care about let's say and next we go on with oops just give me a second we have here small accident anyway here is the second grey plastic sprue as you can see this one comes with this large dozer blade we also have these brackets which will be actually holding it in place and I would recommend to play with feathering of this part because it will be the most obvious element on the whole model let's say and that's why it's worth investing some time into convincing weathering and painting okay next we go on with one piece bonnet parts here they are 
Again, really cool to see them molded as a single piece element so that you won't have to um, glue together separate parts and this should speed up the assembly process and make it easier to get a clean result. Next we have a lot of track spruce, so actually there are eight of them here, you can see them, so I will show you only one because there is no need to show the same parts again and again. So here we have separate track links, I can zoom out a bit, now you should be able to see it. So all these separate track links will have to be assembled together, obviously it won't be such an easy process, it will be a bit tedious, there is no point in hiding it, but I think the final result should be worth it, so really... Um, be patient, assemble all these parts and you will see that final result is better than typical vinyl parts for example. Next we go on with two grey plastic sprues which again carry the same set of parts so I am going to show you only one, here it is. Here we have the drive sprockets and also some of the suspension parts, let's zoom in a bit. And again molding quality seems to be fine and as far as you can see drive sprockets are attached um, they have these attachment points right between the teeth so you have to be careful this one looks really good so just pay attention while working with these drive sprockets why I am paying attention to the drive sprockets because the same style was used in T55 which I am building at the moment small hint for you and I mean it takes more work in order to get a clean cut so I would rather prefer to have the attachment points right on the teeth. Next we go on with four plastic sprues for the road wheels so here you can see it and again molding quality seems to be fine again you have to combine several parts together so be ready for this and if we flip it over here you can see these parts from the opposite side obviously Next we have bigger plastic sprue, so this one is more concerned with chassis and various structural elements, so as you can see these are really big parts and again molding quality seems to be fine, thin attachment points should be easy to cut off and the only thing you should be careful is when we have attachment points like this. So as you can see they are going on to the edge, so when you are separating the part you have to clean the inner edge as well, but I mean it's not such a difficult task, but again it might be a bit time consuming. Next we have one, two, three, four plastic sprues here you can see them. So this one is really small, here we have various minor elements for fine detailing of the tractor and I mean I have nothing to say about it so I guess we can move on to the next one but just to be sure I can zoom in so that you can see it closer okay next we go on with uh, jerry cans so as you remember there are several jerry cans included and I guess just give me a second Yes, I guess all of them fit on this frame, so it's a typical parts division for the jerry cans. In case you assembled uh, this stuff from Miniart, you won't be surprised, it is a typical thing. Next, we go on with again pair of sprues. So, here we have various thin parts, and I have nothing to let's say comment about it. Um, next, also. Here we have parts for the idlers, so they come on two identical plastic frames. Another one for the chassis parts, as you can see these are structural angles, metal angles, so you will have to be installing them. Here we have separate roof panels as far as you can see, as you can see it is detailed inside as well. And we have attachment points on the side, so it's just a matter of separating them, sewing them off and you will be good to go. Next here we have some of the suspension ports on quite wide sprue. Another one goes for various drivetrain ports I guess, but we will see it in a moment in assembly manual. Here is another one with some storage box and several more thin frames here. So. Nothing interesting in my opinion, in a good sense, let's say. 
Next, we go on with Swaz Grey Plastic Sprue. This is one is also big and we are going to zoom out so that you can see what we have. We have engine parts here, we have also some parts for the engine bonnet. But engine is interesting because it features really impressive molded in details. Here you can see it. And that's why I recommend to play with weathering and painting this part of the tractor. Maybe also thinking how to expose it on the finished model because it will be worth it. And next we have the assembly manual, obviously. So here it is. Just give me a second. We will zoom out a bit more. Now you should be able to see that this is a typical mini art brochure printed in color. Here we have marking guide for the um, jerry cans. This is quite funny. Next we go on with parts map. Assembly process starts with engine and drivetrain. As you can see engine should be quite detailed so that's why I recommend to spend some time painting and weathering so that all these details will be visible, will be evident on the finished model. Next we continue with main chassis. As you can see it's a matter of combining this drivetrain together with uh, this main section which is uh, more of a arc I would say. Next we continue with various thin parts. Note that here you have to use the long P part for the various wiring as far as I can understand. Okay next we go on with these special foot places. Here we have some suspension parts. Next we go on with whole drive train. So as you can see we have here various bogies. Also the idler and drive sprocket. Then we continue for the same stuff on the opposite side. Here we assemble the driver's compartment. It means the driver's sofa let's say and also the controls. And next we install both uh, drive bogies from both sides as far as you can see. Next we continue with various parts on the bonnet area. As you can see that's a radiator grill and also top bonnet panel. And as far as you can see it won't be covered from both sides so it is possible to open it um, and display on the finished model. Here we continue with roof panels for the driver compartment. Here we assemble the dozer blade and we install it on the model. And next there are some final steps with fine detailing of this kit. And here we have two marking options for this model. And that's pretty much all. Here you can see photos of the finished model. You know, I mean that's the same kit assembled and finished and painted. So for the marking options I would recommend to search for something else because I mean not everybody likes to be limited by what is offered in the kit. But we have really nice plastic kit here so if you are eager to build something different from all these usual tanks this might be an interesting choice for you. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video reviews. As usual, thank you for watching and bye!